In this video, I'm going to talk about the isomorphism property. So basically, if you have a one-to-one -one linear transformation from a vector space V onto a vector space W, uh, then this is called an isomorphism, isomorphism from V onto W. Okay. All right. So let me show, let me do an example of this. Okay. So let's say we have, okay. Okay, let's say we have a standard basis. Okay, so let B be the standard basis. Of, okay, the vector of the uh, space. Okay, so let's say we have P3. Okay, so this is going to represent the a set of polynomials of degree 3. Okay. Alright, so. Of degree 3. Okay. Okay, so that is, we have one, and let's say we're working in terms of, of uh, t. So one t, t squared, and then finally t cubed. Okay, so these are the, these represent the standard basis in, ter in, in the uh, set of polynomials of degree three. Okay, so a typical element, so a typical element Okay, a typical element of the, let's say P of P three has the has the form okay, P okay equal to a zero T actually let's see sorry a zero plus a one T plus a two T squared plus a three t cubed, okay. All right. Okay, so, so that means we have that the polynomial P, right, is a linear combination of the standard basis vectors, okay. So P, okay, so, and I should, should leave this as it is okay so p so p is a we can think of p as a linear combination of the standard basis vectors okay so that's going to be so so this will be equal to, okay, let me move this down. Okay, so this is gonna give us, okay, so this will be a0, a1, a2, and a3. Okay, so basically they're coming from here, right? A0, A1, A2, A3. So they're coming from the, uh, those are the weights for the polynomial, okay? So this type of mapping that we did, so we're going from a polynomial and we take those corresponding coefficients and the constant and we can write it as a vector. So this coordinate mapping is called an isomorphism, okay? All right, so the coordinate mapping P into onto onto the polynomial in terms of the basis vectors is an isomorphism. Okay, so we can use this uh, we can use this idea to help us uh, determine whether if we if 
if we're given a set of polynomials, we can use this to determine whether or not they are linearly independent or dependent. And that's that's and that is done as an example in the next uh, video. Okay. One more thing here. Um, so specifically for this example, for this case, uh, this was a an isomorphism isomorphism from uh, it was from P three okay onto R four. Okay, so I should mention this. Okay. So in general, if we have a uh, n degree polynomial, then it's it can get mapped into an R of n plus one vector space. Okay. So it's always by it's always by one. Okay. So like in this case, we have our polynomial that we had originally was degree three. But then because of this constant term, so it's going to allow us, we have an A0 here, so that's going to map into R4, okay? 